welcome back. My second Transcend box just arrived. If you're not familiar with Transcend, it's a personal styling service where they send you two to three outfits. I think you can set it up on an interval like every month or every other month. I have it set up so that I get one when I ask for it. But it was my birthday and my mom offered. I told them on my note, we'll see what they did. I have a bunch of kids concerts and recitals and stuff coming up. My first box I asked for things to wear to the symphony and you still want to look polished but you don't necessarily need to be quite as dressed up as to go to the symphony or the or the opera or the ballet. I also think I said, I don't know if you have trouble with this, I'm home during the day, I mean casual Friday, you know, when regular day is already pretty casual. Sometimes if the kids have a doctor's appointment or other things that I need to go where I need to show up and I want to look like presentable but not dressed up, you know? So I did mention, I think I mentioned that too. We'll see what's in my note. I'll read the note at the end though. I know when I'm watching these videos, I want to see the clothes. Do you have a different stylist this month? I think it was from a different location, different store. I should check my setting because I did really like the first stylist. Hopefully this one did a good job too. Like most of the services, they give you a prepaid envelope to ship your clothing back. There is no styling fee for this. You just pay for what you keep. This looks interesting. So much pretty color. I think I did say I'll wear that. So these look like black shiny pants. I don't know what they're like. I know I said I'd love some pants that aren't jeans. So that has some potential. Outfit three, fate varsity cardigan. Not sure how I am on the varsity cardigans, but we'll see. That's kind of pretty. Some mustardy, sort of ruffly top. It's still been pretty warm here. It's starting to get cooler now. So I don't necessarily mind a piece that's not long sleeved. This is the Alice and Joy Poppy Ruffle Top. And this is the Peyton Jensen Vegan Jogger. Cause the bottoms aren't like elasticized. Maybe it's different. It does have that kind of waist. We'll see. Ooh, I, this one, I put the top. I think I did put the top on Pinterest. I like this one. This is outfit number one. So this is a pinstripe crop. I'm willing to bet I will not keep these because I just got some similar pants from Target for pretty cheap because Josie mentioned them in a video and I picked them up and I like them. So maybe I'll show you both. We'll see. This is the Peyton Jensen Manitoba brush tunic. It is super soft. Although it's like, everything is like that. It's like super soft on the outside and not as soft on the inside. So many things are like that. Gray is not a great color on me either. This is the Alice and Joy Sawyer Wallard shirt. Oh, it has like a little hem stitch detail. Uh, two pieces? We'll see. <laughs> kind of looks like what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's velvet though so that's kind of cute it's dressed up a little bit that's the Peyton Jensen alpha velvet raglan and I do think I pinned this I'm not sure how it's going to be on that is the Peyton Jensen utility skirt so in the note she says I am so inspired by your Pinterest when styling your box today I'm glad I wasn't sure exactly when they see whatever you post and I know that I pinned some things after and they're in here so that's nice um, I was so inspired by your Pinterest when styling your box today. Because I did look, it's easy with them because they're pulling stuff from the every store. So if you pull things that are on their website, there's a good chance they'll have it. They do send, I think they send from individual stores, so sometimes they could be out of something. These two tops are far and away my favorite pieces. So let's look at how I would style them with items from my own wardrobe. I have the mustard top on. This is the one with the fluttery sleeves and I'm not sure I love the sleeves. I do like the way the flutter just kind of pokes out of the long cardigan with my own pinstripe pants from Target. It's like a really long strand of multicolor, of like multicolor freshwater pearls. Prints this really nicely in there. And the burgundy top goes nicely with a dressier set of pearls. I could wear it with or without the cardigan. I still have the same pair of pants. So let's look at the pricing. The top I'm wearing is the first thing on the list, which is the Sawyer Fallard shirt, which is the Sawyer Fallard shirt. And it's from Alice and Joy and it's 68. I like it. I do like it. I so seldom pay that much for a shirt, but it is really nice and it feels well made. 
I do like the detailing of the hem stitching. The Manitoba brush tunic is on sale for $30. So at that price is kind of tempting, but I don't really think it goes anywhere in my wardrobe that a hoodie can't go. And I have so many of those. The gray to me always feels like sweatshirty gray, you know? I don't hate it. I just have so many other baggy warm things to put on over whatever I'm wearing. A pinstripe crop from Maddie M, $78. I don't think this is very flattery on me. It just kind of, I'm not totally ready for this whole wide leg crop thing which i know is a thing right now i feel like it makes me look short and maybe older than i am like it might if you're younger it might look cute but on me it, i think it makes me look older the alpha velvet raglan from peyton jensen is 58. it is cute i don't feel like it can go anywhere that a regular baseball t-shirt can't go the skirt i felt like wasn't really flattering on me it's okay um and i have so many similar skirts i do think i pinned it though i can't i think i may have pinned almost all of these things so i really can't blame my stylist just to show you i tried on the top with one of my own skirts it's just like rather than being mid thigh it's like just above the knee and i feel like that's a lot more flattering that was 39.99 which is a good price this top the poppy ruffle top from alice and joy i like it more as a layering piece than i not sure I would love it without a cardigan over it, but I did really like it with a cardigan over it. It was 58, now it's 49.99. Not quite as flared as the pinstripe, but I still felt like these were kind of flared. They made me look like I was wearing shrunken clothes that was too big for me. I don't know, it just it didn't look like a good look for me. The sweater, she sized down to a small. I still felt like I was swimming in it. I don't feel like it did anything for me. So I think I'm just gonna keep these two. I'm happy with them though. I'm really happy. They do feel like a little better quality, a little, a little more stylish than what I could get just walking into Target or TJ Maxx. My stylist was Kathleen M. And I do feel like she really did read. I have a lot of information on my profile and I do feel like she paid attention. Obviously she looked at my Pinterest board. Outfit one. Basically what I'm wearing for kids appointments and parent meetings and stuff like that. I feel like that's very on the mark. Fit three with the, the mustard top, which I don't like, I didn't like the sweater with it, but that was to go to dinner with friends and family. That's pretty on the mark. I feel like that's definitely an appropriate thing to wear. The only one that I feel like missed the mark was that outfit two. Was it the short utility skirt? And I think she was just giving me things that I pinned and trying to fit it into things that I said I wanted. Um, I don't feel like I would wear a baseball tee and a utility skirt. And it says to your kid's school concerts and activities. I think that the velvet would be like a cute, fun detail for like an everyday wearing of a baseball tee, which I have enough of. <laughs> I don't feel like it dresses it up enough that I would wear it somewhere where I wouldn't normally wear a baseball tee. But two out of three, she really did well. And it's also not her fault that I had just bought some pants that really fleshed out the outfits better than the ones that she had sent. Totally not her fault. So I'm really happy with the amount of attention that they pay to the guidance that I left. And I think they do a good job. So if you're thinking about it and you're a size 12 or smaller, unfortunately, I'll put my referral code below. No pressure though.